Okay, here a little video on how do I get started with Inkscape. Okay, on this right side, on the left side, we have our main tools, what will be used. Uh, that is the selection tool. Then you come in the node select tool. Then you have the shapes tools. And then the Bezier tool, what is one of the main objects, main tools we are using. And then here you have the text tool. So let's go and draw a rectangle. There we have a rectangle. Now, for each shape or for each tool, as soon as it is selected, then here on top, there are options and you can change here the number so it will change the width of your rectangle and here you can change the height and it will change the height so if you have a specific measurement then you can just punch in the measurement you want and there, let's say we're gonna make that 40 and press enter. And there you have it to that specific size you need. Then here, the RX, we can increase that. And we will see the corners are starting to round. So you can change that one and this one. you get the R, the Y value changed. So if you put it to zero, and that one to zero, then you have a perfect square. What you can also do is, as you can see, this corner has got a square, this corner, it is a circle. You can also go and grab the handle and it will, you can create the curve. Yeah. Then each object, if you want to give it a fill color, you can go here to the bottom screen. You can, as your object is selected, you can just click on the color and it will change the fill color. If you're holding down the shift key, it will change the stroke color. As easy as that. So the shift key will do the stroke and just click on a color and it will change the fill. But you can also go here as you have the mouse on the uh, color palette, you can right click, set fill, and you can go and right click, set stroke. So there's different ways that you can go about it. And then to go and change the width of your outline of the stroke, you can do that here in the left bottom corner. You can hold your mouse on the stroke width here, and you can use the roller wheel to change the width. Or you can also right click and you can set it to specified width. Or you can go and open your fill and stroke window. And that is under object, fill and stroke. 
and here in the fill and stroke window you can set desired width enter and it will change and here you can change your outline if you want it as a running stitch then you can set it to the dashed line over there and for the fill this is the first one is no fill then it is a solid fill and then you get a linear gradient radial gradient mesh gradient and these two buttons uh, keep those in mind too the fill is solid unless the subpath is counter directional and creates hole in the rule so like this button will be used in breaking apart objects so keep these two icons in mind okay then we'll go and create a circle to create a perfect circle holding down the one of the I thought it was a control key so to create a perfect circle holding down the shift or the control key and now we have a perfect circle this one also has the square node and a circle node if you now select the circle node now you can make create a pie okay what and you can change it and And it can be confusing if you start playing with that in order to get it properly closed again but you can go and change those settings here also on top again here you can set the, the radius so like if that one is 20 and say we make this one 10 then it starts becoming an oval but if these two values are the same then it is a perfect circle then in order to get the opening here properly if the start there you can see as the number is changing it is changing the shape of the pie and the end so in order to get rid of this blue line this one would have to be at a zero again and enter and now it disappears okay now we go to the here you have now the star is selected here on top there you have a regular polygon or a star so either one is selected then you will get a, a polygon if you select a star you'll get a star now we'll go and move it over for a moment there now i want to have this one changed but now I have the directional handles on there. I'm on a, I can go and resize it, whichever direction they want. But I would like to convert it, say, into a six-sided one. Okay, 
then what we do is if I second for a click on it for a second time then we get the rotation handles and we can rotate it whichever direction we want and here is the center point so if we now go and rotate it will rotate around this that crosshair so where did it go now okay click on it again it's there so now we go and rotate as you can see it will rotate now around its act the axis point now in order to change this from an eight-sided to a six-sided one or a 12-sided or 16-sided all you need to do is double click on it and then we get the options for changing it then it is here eight now let's say we want to make that 12 then we make can just change that and then oh, the 12 and then you can make it rounded corner as you can see you can you can make make all kinds of different shapes with it it just takes a little bit of playing around with it make that zero and we'll make that zero two again so there you have press enter and there you have a 12-sided uh, polygon then that and that is the same for the star if you want to have say we were in the selection tool now the star got selected if you want to change it then what we can do here is double click and we can change it to a six pointed star the spoke ratio we can change so that will make it sharper or and then we can go and make it make it rounded so whichever way we want to do we can play with that over here and the same with changing the, the colors all you need to do is right click on your color set fill and right click set stroke and then you can go and you can set here you it and there you have a bunch of these changes and okay that's it for now and hopefully this can help you out with understanding some of the basics thank you for watching